Hi, and welcome to another video from Mary's Pond Boatyard. I'm Tony Davis, and as I promised uh, in the last video we put out on the XFC Racing 14, I demonstrated the two-part mast carbon fiber, and I told you we'd have a new and improved model, and that's what we're going to show you today. Just a reminder, it's all carbon fiber, and it is the booms attached, the sails attached, the Dyneema grommets, the Matt Dooley gas saddle, and, uh, and the gaff. Everything's ready to go. The boom crutch is not in because, again, we're getting her all ready to ship out on Tuesday. Um, so this boat is really exciting, not only because it'll be sailing on Puget Sound in a week in Seattle, um, but it is hull number 300, which uh, hull one was in 19, early 1970s, 71, 72, 73, I'm not sure exactly. In 1991, I took over and uh, for a fact, um, th uh, this would be 200 of the ones that uh, my crew and I have built since uh, 91, right here. So really proud of that and excited to be uh, sending this anniversary boat out to uh, Seattle. Um, oh, the other note too, what you'll see here, um, I am a, uh, officially as of uh, November 27th, and we're now into December 2022, I am officially a old guy. This is about as easy as it can get, um, and uh, if, it was, if I was 35, it would be like easy, easy. Um, so uh, the, the whole process of stepping this mast. Okay, we'll step the mast. A little awkward here with the shed. Uh, I'm finishing packing the boat to go to Seattle. So I duck it under the shed. Normally it'd be a boat ramp hooked up to your truck. A little bit of roundabout here. And then I've got a foam pad down there. So I'm set her there. Carbon fiber mask, carbon fiber stub here. And um, I've got the uh, halyards in a bundle up high, so I have plenty of space to easily grab the butt of the mast. So it's wax, so it's slippery. I'll go to the top of the, of the uh, ladder here, take a break there. I've got a rag on deck too I could go to if I wanted to, but I'm just gonna go right to the gooseneck. So once my halyards are run, which all you gotta do is visit visit the other video on setting up your halyards, which will take all of two or three minutes, a couple of shackles, and people do quick release. You can really simplify it. Attach your halyards and uh, you're sailing. So now I'm gonna go up over and in. And I put some wax on it and uh, spray lube up inside here to keep the salt from building up, and I'm in. So I'm off down the ramp, or sorry, attach my halyards, boom crutch in, attach my halyards, and I go down the ramp, and I'm off sailing. Have a great sail, and uh, pull a boat out. You really don't want to do this in the water, although you can. Um, and then uh, you come up. Oh, by the way, those are goats you might hear in the background. We, uh, we got goats this fall, and they're a lot of fun. So um, I went straight down. Uh, I could have gone to my resting spot here or handed it to someone and gone down. Then I would just take her and lay her into the Velcro straps on the boom and off. But you know what? I've decided I want to go for another sail. So, we'll step it again. Come up onto this resting spot. Here to this resting spot. And show time. We're in. Head stay, patches there. All right. This uh, 
is carbon paint, carbon fiber. It is painted in all grip. It is high end. There is nothing cheap about any of this. Um, we are taught, I don't know the exact numbers, but uh, it is over $2,000 for a complete setup like this. But um, if that investment gets you out on the water more efficiently, um, you wake up in the morning and you don't have to think about uh, having to step the mast and get everything rigged because it's all done except for this one step, that's, that's a good investment. Um, all right, so a couple people to thank, uh, Rigger Matt, uh, Tony and Clint at Forte Spars in Ledger, Connecticut, who make our spars, our carbon spars. We do our wooden spars with the tabernacle, a bronze tabernacle here at the, at the pond. Um, Matt Dooley uh, makes some beautiful wooden masks uh, using bird's mouth method or box spars, either way, depending on the size. And uh, I'd like to thank my crew and all of you who have commented, uh, who appreciate the, uh, the videos. Uh, I've been helping you get out on the water sailing your cat boat. I want to also point out this, this is, can go in any design of cat boats. It's, uh, you know, in the smaller, you know, if the dimensions fit. Uh, this isn't strictly just for Aries Pond cat boats. So if you own a compass or a handy or whatnot, this, this can all uh, retrofit. Uh, well, what do you think, Blaze? Yep, as usual, not, not a whole lot. Rather go for a walk. All right, well, thank you very much. And um, let's see, it's getting close to Christmas 2022. So I'll see you in uh, 2023. We'll have a video out um, on our Aries Pond 22 foot XFC cat boat. Sailing alongside will be the XFC 14 in the video. And then we'll go into the 22 in the video showing all the details that uh, make it a very custom special boat. All right. Um, happy New Year. Sail on.